after the inauguration of a new legislative superbody, an armed uprising and the firing of the chief prosecutor all over the weekend, on Monday, Venezuela paused to take stock. The new chief prosecutor eased his way into office by blaming his predecessor for the violence and protests of the last four months. One of the main causes of all these deaths and thousands of injured is the premeditated and punished actions of the prosecutor's office in practically submerging this country in a situation of war. There was no doubt that an institution which had grown critical of the government's crackdown on protesters and increasing authoritarianism was once again towing the party line. This prosecutor's office won't be a state within a state that's over. As he spoke, a government march in support of the newly inaugurated and hugely controversial Constituent Assembly passed by. These government supporters see the coming of the Constituent Assembly as an opportunity to renew peace and prosperity in a country that for years has been in economic crisis. But for their opponents and for around 40 countries around the world, it's instead seen as a blow for democracy. That's because it's an all-powerful body packed with government supporters. The food minister told us it's what's needed to solve Venezuela's chronic shortages. The only way to avoid bloodshed is to stick to the constitution. If not, unfortunately Venezuelans are going to believe that an armed conflict is the necessary solution. And no one wants to take that road. But the clap is nothing new. In general, the government's given little detail about how the assembly will tackle the country's problems. Just around the corner, the country's opposition-dominated Congress denounced the assembly once again and issued a stark warning. We're advancing with the CLAP, local communities of food storage and production, and with the Constituent Assembly we're going to strengthen the food sovereignty and security. What little power they have could soon be taken from them. The Constituent Assembly has the power to remove deputies' immunity from prosecution. President Maduro has already indicated that the government is ready to use it. John Holman, Al Jazeera, Caracas.